All right, new Malefics. We got one of the new cards. We got Malefic Sector. Let's just banish two Malefic cards from a graveyard. Add two Malefic cards with different names and the banished one from the hand. It looks in the world chalice, Miko. All right, so this card is Synchro Summon. You get to add one world legacy card from the deck to the hand. Okay, so it's going for Guard Dragon. And special summon that. That needle fiber though. With the world chest guard dragon. And white stone. Okay, I'm getting a little bit interesting here. Add another blue eye. Let's see what this guy ends up throwing out turn one. A lot of times they throw out a lot of big beaters. We might be able to just summon a big beater that has like 9,000 tank, smack them once. GG, man. Okay, it looks like that might be uh, his build, but uh, yeah, we've got double allures. We've got trade in. We've got options here. We got Malefic Sector, so I definitely want to trade in this card. Um, especially since we have no field spot. Anyways, whoa, did you just draw 20 cards, man? See, this is a problem sometimes with Yu Gi Oh! is like the amount of cycling that certain decks can get. And like, if I had just one hand trap, I could completely stop him, and he'd probably just quit if I stopped him. And then I'd be like, oh, bam! And they've been making a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that they ban. They just re-ban them back in other, like, forms, you know? But there's still, like, not really anything that I would consider, like, a threat. So now he's got, um, a Garpain. And then he's also got the Hot Red Dragon. Uh, he's not going to be able to inflict any damage. So, like, again, there's not really any threats. But he's basically drawing through, like, his entire deck at this point. Like, it's insane. But, you know, Malefics, they got pretty good attack. And a Soul Charge. Oh, okay, no. This is where it gets pretty, like, stupid. And it's like, dude, I, I'm gonna go play Duel Links where I don't have to deal with this kind of stuff. But then complain about Silent Magician anyways because I hate that thing so dang much. Or si Silent Swords or Silent Magician, whatever, dude. Miko, ban this material. Uh, dude, honestly, just, just reset the game at this point. That's what I think it needs. Oh, oh, this this card also negates. Oh, okay, cool. And, no, that's cool. Bruh, 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 bruh. That's cool. I'll just make a Savage Dragon. And, like, dude, I'm going to negate one thing. I'm going to negate another thing. Like... Hey, I just call Reveal Exodia up on... <laughs> it's, like, the only way I'm going to be able to do anything. This is so stupid, though. Like, he's gone through half of his deck, so it's not like it's that difficult to, like, really pull off. I mean, I have lots of draw power cards. I might be able to, like, draw negate, draw negate, and then draw another one by Regeki. You know, maybe, maybe. They try to reset the game with Duel Links. Look how that turned out. <sighs> I mean, it's really just Silent silent Magician and the Swordsman. Like, both of those effects are just so dumb. He's going to Galaxy. Oh, do, why, why do I even play this game, dude? I'm going to go play Fortnite. I'm done. Like, this is so stupid, dude. I, I just triple negate six cards in hand. Go ahead. Like, does this look like a game that anyone would want to play? Like, regardless of what deck I had, right? Like, what deck would easily deal with this? Like, with this after like Wing Dragon Ross Firmo, you ain't going nowhere, dog. Like, I'm gonna try to use this, I'm gonna try to deck then, but like, it's probably gonna get negated. Alright, there we go. Alright. The worst part about it is it doesn't go to the grave ever with Serial, man. Alright. Hit him up with uh, a Lord of Darkness. I'm gonna negate that. <laughs> Does that mean top deck or regeki? Well, the thing is, even a top deck or regeki, guys, I was like, there's just, there's just no way, dude. All right, yo, let me top deck or regeki, and I feel good about myself, and then still end up losing anyways. All right, trade in. All right, we got more negates. Oh, Ash Blossom does. Oh my god, dude, I so. This, yeah, what has Yu-Gi-Oh become on this? Yo, do we got this though? All right, well, 
Maybe we can make something happen, dude. I swear he's gonna he's gotta have Ash Blossom too, dude. He's just he's just Oh yeah, I, I got that answer for Ash Blossom though. Unfortunately, like I can't I, I have to do something this turn though with this game, right? And like the fact that I've gone through this much drop power and still can't do anything is sad, man. But honestly, dude, what has Yugo become when you can throw out three negates? I understand he had Soul Charger, but like, dude, he went through like literally like half his deck, and at that point, dude, you could pretty much go through and make whatever you want. I think this is gonna be a, a more of a discussion video than anything. I mean, I wish I was really just trying. To, I didn't actually check if I ban banished Regeki or not, but I had to make it play that turn. All right, I would have loved to have Regeki. It would have made me at least feel kind of good about myself. But at the end of the day, was Regeki going to make? us win with like what one i think we had like a mal like one malefic but we didn't have a field spot anyways i don't think that was gonna make it like able to deal with i don't know his six cards and then two back rows and that and he i, I don't know i felt like something was reactive he probably had an ash blossom was just like i'm gonna troll this guy make him go through things i i don't think you should be allowed to do this kind of stuff in Yu-Gi-Oh because this makes it so the other player literally gets frustrated and just is upset like i i don't think most decks could have dealt with that type of a board. And he, and he, he I almost guarantee, hold on. Okay, let, let's check what was in his hand. I, I'm actually kind of curious, all right? So let's go ahead and go, uh, let's go to watch replay. And where was, what did I say it was? His hand. I want to know what the heck was in this guy's hand at the end of the turn. Uh, actually, we were looking at my, I'm going to go ahead and swap. I, I want to know, did he, what did he have? Ash Blossom? Did he have Warning? What were the cards he had set? Oh, he had... Oh, dude, impermanence. Oh, dude, more negation. All right. Oh, my gosh, dude. Do you have hand traps or no? Okay, so he's not running any hand traps. But let, let's see what he ended up with because I, I, I got to run sphere mode, I guess. Um, I mean, I, true in Malefics, you could play sphere mode. It's not that big of a deal. I just kind of want to show off the new stuff. And in fact, like, my deck can OTK quite hard. Unfortunately, it did not draw a Montage Dragon, did not draw another monster. Really wish I had drawn that Regeki, though. But... Um, oh, he had Soul Charge at the start, but it, again, he Surrey uh two times, and at that point, I mean, you're going through eight cards, and then obviously your starting hand of five cards. Your chances of going through it at that point are, what, 12, but also he decked then at certain points, so you're really looking at, like, just a very high chance. Like I said, it's like 50% at the point of him going for this, and of course he had... Um, he had infinite impermanence to, of course, stop whenever he wanted to stop. And I don't think these, uh, do any negations, uh, any of the Rose Dragon. But, like, I, I feel like this leads Yu-Gi-Oh! to a, a stance where, like, I don't know how someone could go into this game after playing this. Like, let's say you traveled for, like, a YCS. I, I understand, like, this deck's trash. Like, it, it's Malefics at the end of the day. But... What I'm trying to do is have this discussion about, like, is this okay in Yu-Gi-Oh? Is this a game that you'd want to actually, like, play in? Um, Soul Charge's got, got him there, should have been banned. I, I agree Soul Charge is, like, one of those stupid cards. Uh, but there's a lot of stupid cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? There's so many cards where it's like, oh, I made this board, I automatically win. Uh, so, yeah, at multiple, it can get pretty dumb, too. But, like, there's, it, it's more than just this. There's so many decks that can open up, like, this dirty, dirty board where it's, like, I negate, like, two to three. I think if Yu-Gi-Oh! was trying to, like, reset itself, it needs to also, like, imply that you cannot negate more than once per turn, just in general. Because who wants to play in a game where you're playing against someone that stops you from doing everything? Like, like Harold is a, a great, a great example of that. Like, I know that, like, Harold's not very meta, but... Who wants to play against Herald? I don't think anyone's, like, looking forward to match up against Herald. Like, that deck is incredibly just, like, I either lose because I didn't, like, make Herald, or I didn't negate every single thing that you did, so I just lose. Like, I don't know. Or, like, they negate everything to the point where you legitimately get frustrated at the game, and you want to leave the game. I mean, literally, right at this moment, I want to turn this game off, and I want to go play another game. Do you think anyone that comes from, like, because... Right now, Konami is really trying to hit the younger audience. If you guys didn't know, you can check any of their social media or any of their advertisement. They're not advertising this game to, like, older people because the older audiences are already playing Yu-Gi-Oh! from, like, way back when. That's the only people I think that can really stay in this game is because they're too invested into, like, you know, the game itself. But to get a younger kid that has been playing, like, let's say, Fortnite and comes into this, right, he's going to be like, this is stupid. Why would I want to play this game? 
That's exactly my thoughts. Um, there is a counter to hand traps, which nobody needed. But the problem is, is even if I had hand traps, right? I have, I guess, call by the gear is kind of like a hand trap too, but like, even if I was to have hand traps, if I don't open up with the hand trap, I just straight lose. Like, if I had just literally one hand trap, I think all of this could have been prevented. That's what speed duels are for younger audiences. But even in Dragon Duelists, if you've played Dragon Duels, you would know that they are run 99% of the time, they're running meta. I mean, yeah, sometimes you'll see the kid playing Dark Magician. But is he winning? Of course not. So I, I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh! is in a state where it, it really needs some type of a reset. Like, I haven't really seen Guard Dragons, to, like, oh, I don't know if you want, if you want to call this Guard Dragons, like... Chalice, I don't know. Whatever you want to call this variant. I've, I've seen lots of variants of this um, uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh! where it's just like, I make this like board where I can negate multiple times. Or even like Rongo, like uh, like just, just saying, oh, you can't even summon, I'm immune to everything, go ahead. Like, that's not a deck that I want to play against. In fact, most people agree that the card should be banned too. But I think that there should be some type of thing in place where like, you have some type of like, I don't know, character ability where you get rid of like certain cards or like, I don't know. It's frustrating at this point is what I'm trying to say to play Yu-Gi-Oh! It really is. And, it, and it's been like this way for a, quite some time. Back when I used to play, like way back when, like I don't know, Teledad still was pretty bad too with the negations of like um, uh, oppression. But I still feel like it's gotten worse and worse. Uh, the consistency that some decks have because back in the day, it was like, oh, first turn, uh, if you were able to go, like, start us extra card, start us plus, like, oppression, or just, like, oppression in general, and you throw out, like, a bigger monster, it was kind of game. But I feel like it just has honestly gotten worse in this game, but I don't know. Gumblar Dragon is not fair, dude. <laughs> oh, this is why Pink Reaper quit. Uh, I mean, partially. I mean, he was just, he just lost interest in the game, like, people lose interest in the game. But... There's just incredibly more and more broken stuff that comes out, and there's more and more consistency. Like, even if I was playing this deck, okay, like, the most that I could do, let's say, is, like, Montage Dragon for a monster with, like, stupid amounts of attacks swing that's game. That's still not very fun to run into. If I was to, let's say, Regeki, or even, like, go Twin Twisters, discard this card, uh, search out for any of the Malefic cards, add two Malefic cards that just have high level, and then I just summon Montage, swing for game. I don't know. I feel like you shouldn't be able to, like, lose this early on in the game. And also, like, to deal with a board that's, like, like just too unbeatable. It just feels like it's at least a frustration. I understand that Yu-Gi-Oh! is based off of matches. Um, th this, is, this game has just gotten, like, worse and worse as time has gotten by, and I, I just don't think I'm personally okay with it. And, like, that's why I found a little bit of interest in Duel Links until, like, I got wrecked by, you know, Silent Swordsman, all okay, I'm immune to everything, I swing for, you know, game. Like, it's it, it's frustrating, and it leads people to leaving the game. And, like, I don't know, that's just my personal take on it. But, since this is an open discussion, I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section below how you guys feel about this. Obviously, um, a lot of people, I think, share the same frustration with this game. It's, 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 it's frustrating to play, and I think that that's why a lot of people quit. It's, it's frustrating in its current game state, and I don't know what's going to fix this. Unless they're just, like, literally ban hammer and start banning all the negations. Or, like, make a rule where you can only negate one thing per turn. Negating so much to the point where your opponent is, like, mad? It's not fun. <laughs> like, it really isn't. I mean, at this point, it, did he even play against me? There, there was no in the player interaction. Just negate, negate, negate. Okay, I win. Like, he got four negations. I start out with six cards. Hmm, I don't know. I, what two cards can really deal with this? I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I guess I shouldn't main deck. I got a main deck last fear mode, boys. That, that's what it really comes down to. Main deck those fear modes, and you won't have to get frustrated, right, Kappa? But that's if you can draw. <laughs> Dude, then you then you make perks in this where I can open like like in Duel Links where you can like Arcana you just open up with that that card. I need a card where you, uh, a card effect where I just open up with Wing Dragon or Austere Mode because then I don't have to deal with these boards. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, it's a discussion video, so let me know your thoughts and your feelings down below on the whole topic of like Yu Gi Oh frustrating to play. Um, like this is why people quit. And I think this is an excellent excellent example of it. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you want more Yu Gi Oh discussion videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and you get more, man. Thanks for watching. Peace.